Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for the Solo Coder. Today, I'll be talking about healthy coder. Now, I'll be stating a lot of obvious stuff here, that you should be healthier as a human being and as a soul coder, there's no difference. And there are many different ways that I could go with this ramble here, but I decided to report on my personal experience, whatever you can draw from it, do it. And at the end, I'm going to give you a reference to a book that I just came across that may give you some hints on what you could potentially change as a coder and becoming a little bit healthier. So, four years ago, I started in a, in a little journey and I, I hadn't planned this out like that, but I just decided four years ago to change some of my eating habits, like reducing the, the my meat intake, reducing the processed food that I, the amount of processed food that I ate, reducing breads, reducing rice. I'm a, a rice eater and start replacing some of that with fruits and vegetables as well. And also the other thing that I've, I've done is I decided to eat less at night. So I changed, made a few changes and all of a sudden within the time, not all of a sudden actually, within the time span of about two years, I've lost about 35 pounds or 16 kilos. Here it's me, how I used to be. So. That was a little bit of my journey. Then, I when I, when I, I lost that that weight, you no, know, I you no know, got a little bit slimmer. I decided to start exercising as well. So today I run a little bit every morning. I run about uh, forty-five minutes for six kilometers or three something miles. Those those were some of the things that have changed within the, the time span of about four years. Now. I don't see myself going back to the ways that I used to be. My energy level is a lot higher and there are more things that I have changed as well. Because I've um, integrated the Pomodoro technique, which gives me half, uh, five minutes breaks ev after every half an hour of work, I stand up, I get out from my, from my chair, which is one of the big things of being a coder and sitting down for eight hours straight or something like that. Again, you should avoid that as well. So I stand up, I go for a walk, five minutes break, I refill my water as well. I drink about uh, 1.5 to 2 liters of, wa of water every day. Throughout my day, I have always, I'm always refilling my water on those five minutes break. Again, my energy level is, is way up than it used to be before. Actually, it has been such a long time, over four years now, that I don't even recall, uh, that I don't even recall too well how sluggish I used to be four years ago. Now, I also became a little bit of an exercise junkie because of this little guy that we can track stats and we can track a lot of a lot of things like cardio and heartbeat and things like that. So I use that a lot as my own way to compete against myself and get my numbers better when I'm running on my weight. So I'm, I'm just taking the obvious here that you should try to be healthier and to become healthier it's a matter of changing habits, uh, your, some of your daily habits, and, and incorporate new ones. Power of Habit book is a very good book to get you on the mindset of what you need to change, how you can go about creating new habits and developing new habits. I'm going to post a link to that book. I'm also going to post a link to a book that I came across when researching to do this ramble called The Healthy Programmer. I haven't read this book, but it seems very suitable to, to this topic, so I cannot not point to it. Haven't read, cannot really recommend, but the link will be there as well. So, bottom line here is that I'm healthier, I have more energy, I can work better, I don't feel sluggish, and that's it. I hope that you can try to incorporate small little habits healthier habits into your, your daily activity. That's how I came about, you know, becoming a little bit healthier, a little bit uh, better fit over time, changing one habit, one little habit as a, 
at a time. And the good thing with changing habits is that changing healthier habits is that they will entice you to change more and change more and change more. So I changed some eating habits and then I, I decided to do some exercises as well. Everything compounded together and hey, now I think that I'm okay. I think I, right now I just track my numbers to make sure that I'm stable. I don't you know, try to decrease anything else because I'm, I'm, I'm okay, let's say. Let's put it this way. I, I feel okay. Not okay for, for anybody else, but okay for myself. Uh, that's it for now. Um, select people, select is like uh, members. Let's keep talking. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, please do it here. Question to you is, what do you do to become healthier? That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.